What's up everybody, it's Tyron Johnson and I'm back with another film study. Today we're focusing on Kevin Durant and how he's killing these playoffs. Kevin Durant is an absolute beast on the court. He does things that no one else in the league can do. He can shoot it, dribble, pass, and defend. He's not only good at those attributes, but he's great. I pulled film from this year's playoffs to see how he has been dominating this year in the playoffs, and it's crazy. His confidence is through the roof right now, and the only thing you can do on defense is hope that he missed. So let's see how he been doing it. Let's break down the film. Catch and shoot. He's one of the best catch and shoot players out there. He's tall, so he doesn't really see you when you close out. He's a perfect fit for Golden State offense because of how much movement they have. He's also doing it in the post. When he gets it in the post, he's squaring up and shooting right over defenders. So let's check out some examples of him catching and shooting. Here in transition, Draymond Green find him on the trail, easy bucket, boom, shoots right over Pat Beverly. Here he has it in the post on Pat Beverly. Draymond drives, he relocates, knock down, moving without the ball. Here he's gonna slip the screen on Steph Curry, relocate to the corner, come off the down screen for the knockdown three in the corner. It's moving without the ball. Now he's doing the same thing in the post. He's catching the ball in the post, squaring up, short jab, and just knocking down the shot. He's also using that Dirk Nowitzki one-step jumper. Let's check that out. Looks at Daniel House, jab, shot. Gets the ball in the post up in Daniel House, one-legged jumper. Repost to Chris Paul, one-legged jumper. Quick, not even thinking about it. It's not much he can do about it. He's too small, he's too skilled. KD is also killing him with the pull-up. He's using a one-two step. Now KD is so tall, when he drives, he uses the one-two steps a lot. When he does this, he gets a big time advantage over the defense because the one-two steps allow you to get more height on your shot. He shoots the ball pretty high, plus he adds a fade to his shot, which makes it pretty unguardable. So here we go, we get transition, sees Gallinari. Here comes the one-two with the fade. Unstoppable shot to guard. Got Garrett Temple in the triple threat. He's gonna drive baseline, one-two with the fade. Can't stop it. Now here's an interesting play. He comes off the down screen. Pat Bev is so small, one-two, rides right over him for the and one. That's the power of the one-two. Then he says he's nice, ooh, that's tough. Here he got James Harden in the post, jab right, one two to the left, bucket shoots right over him. The next play, he comes down, he has Eric Gard in the post, he just goes right, one two, bucket. Might have been a foul. Another thing I noticed about Kevin Durant, he's so big and long, whenever he has straight line drives to the rim, it's an automatic dunk. He shoots a high percentage inside because he's dunking the ball most of the time, using his athleticism and strength. Check out some of these plays. Dunk. He shoots a high percentage inside because he's dunking the ball most of the time using his athleticism and strength. Check out some of these plays. Now here's something that I never really paid attention to Kevin Durant. He scores a lot early in transition. He runs the floor really hard. Another thing I notice is when he's in secondary transition, he's waiting for the outlet and he's chopping his feet and he's prepared to explode by his defender before he even gets the ball. Let's check out an example of that. See as he pulls up, he comes up on the right side, Lou Williams is in the hole, he scored already because he's already going to the basket. He has the angle on Lou Williams, so all he has to do is embrace the contact and propel himself to the rim. Let's look at another example of that. Draymond Green finds him early on in transition. He powers up to the court, Iman Shumper is not ready. As Soon as he get into his chest, he goes right by him and it's for an easy layup. That's something I'm gonna to try to steal from him. <laughs> now, now what I noticed most about KD is he goes crossover every time he attacks the rim, whether it's right to left or left to right. He uses the crossover almost every time he attacks. If he's not using the crossover, then he's using the hezzy. Those are like his two favorite moves, the crossover and his hezzy pull up. He shoots a high percentage doing both of them, so I see why. Here's a couple of plays of him utilizing the right to left crossover and also him utilizing the hezzy to pull up.
This is my breakdown of Kevin Durant in this year's playoffs. He's really tearing the playoffs up. He's being consistent. He's efficient. He's aggressive. He's real, really confident. And he's playing some of the best basketball of his career. So if you have any suggestions of anyone else you want me to break down, leave a comment, like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and we out.